So in today's video, we will be finding out about the HOA communities and no HOA communities in Florida. So if you are an investor or you are a first time home buyer or someone wants to upgrade yourself, then this video will get you more information about the single family houses. So this is more detailed video about the HOA discussion we will be doing, which is the HOA is called the Homeowner Association, which is very common to find in Florida houses and the communities basically. So let's talk more detail about this. This is Komal Acharya. Welcome to my channel. Today's video, as I said, will be focusing on about the homeowner association that is very much common in Florida area. So let's first start with what it is. The homeowner association is, you know, you will mostly find in single family condos or townhouses. Right now we are focusing on single family houses because condo townhouses, you know, they will have the homeowner association. There is nothing like a no HOA or no homeowner associations in those kind of uh, the property. But in single family, you do have a choice and that matters for a lot of people. And, you know, there are some myths also about this. And that's what we will be discussing in this video. You will also find out if you're looking to invest, you know, why you should buy and should not buy an HOA. Uh, there are like common rules, like everybody knows the HOA communities, you know, people don't like it because... You know, it uh, you need to deal with uh, another entity. You know, it's a third party entity, and a lot of times people don't like with the ha those headaches. You know, talking just like you know, some people don't like some kinds of tenants. So uh, those all the stuff we will be discussing. So hang on the whole video. So number one, let's start with the basics. Why homeowner associations are there? So they are basically you know, if there is a community where it has uh, amenities or things which is like a security, extra security those kind of things uh, if there is then by default there should be some kind of homeowner association it could be minimum like a twenty dollars to going up to even thousand dollar per month or more higher if it is a condo associations but in single family most likely it goes up to like a seven hundred eight hundred dollar per month in Florida area well if you go more north in Florida like I'm more in South Florida but if you go let's say Orlando Tampa it's much lower numbers as more you go in Jacksonville area is more no lower numbers so mostly most expensive HOAs are in South Florida area so a lot of people I help in a relocation where they're moving from other states and they get all the surprise with these numbers but remember this HOAs are always covering something and that is why they are there so let's kind of break down stuff so if there is a higher HOA what exactly you need to look for first of all what they cover most ideally in single family communities if there are higher HOAs then they has to cover the loan like a loan maintenance so that's ideally you know let's say the single family house is 3500 per square foot the lots on let's say 7,000 to 15,000 square foot lots those are ideally you are paying out of pocket if you have to then most likely between $100 to $200 per month, uh, you know, uh, in, in those maintenance. If you have more landscaping, you have more hedges, more trees, like more palm trees, all those fancy stuffs you need to add up. So trees are not all the time they are doing, but they do charge the per trimming, mostly $40 to $80. So all those things mightily covered if there is a high HOA. For example, if you go into Parkland City in Florida, this is in South Florida, so that's around $700 per month in some like a Cascara, Watercrest, all those names. If you have heard about, if you have done research, if you're not heard about, those are the, you know, some good communities you will find. You know, those communities, the HOA covers uh, lawn maintenance around your properties they also cover the pest control exterior not inside okay a lot of people has to meet the HOA covers if they say pest control then it covers inside too Florida loves bugs or bugs loves Florida either way <laughs> uh, so you got to be used to with that you know uh, bugs so that's why the pest control we talk about the same like you know it bothers us it bothers the nature also so the planting gardening all those things matter Matters. even the grass dies because of the bugs too if there are bad bugs uh, you know around the area 
that's most important piece uh, you know of the maintenance the second is the security so it's a gated communities you will find the man manly gated or sometimes electronic but most likely would be the man gated communities uh, so safety a lot of times people concern like you don't want the trespassing you don't want people to just walk in in your neighborhoods then you know that's very much important to have a gated community then definitely if the gated community then the HOA would be higher in the security common areas like a clubhouse resource style clubhouses that's the most important piece a lot of people don't understand who are moving from other states you know the you know not everywhere the weather is like Florida Florida has a lot of I mean especially South Florida needs you know good amenities to experience especially if you're living in a great luxury community you know so those amenities will be covered through the HOA you know you're paying for those uh, you know just not the gym or just the, not a small area of the conference room but actually the pool area splash they do have sometimes the trucks coming for the kids they do events uh, Halloween's and uh, Christmas and you name it it's like a small uh, community basically there uh, even the HOA initiates those kind of stuff too so not every HO is bad trust me not every HO is bad so they do good stuff like even you go in Halloween some HO is uh, organize their own uh, free food uh, parties and for the kids it's amazing they do the costume competitions things like that so it depends where you are so right so those are things really matters again talking about uh, if it's a good stuff bad stuff that de depends on the every individual if you are moving with the young kids then definitely it's great to have that kind of culture I'm not saying in a no age way there is not culture like that but at the same time there's something the third party initiation is done unless you have a good group of friends or the good neighbors definitely you guys can have that feel or go to somewhere else have those but this is the what I'm discussing is the what what the community like the HOA offers to the neighborhoods. That's what the main difference is. So other stuff with the HOA, some HOA covers is internet, cable. So that's also you need to see. Does it cover those things? If it covers, if could be well worth of that money if you use it if you're not going to use it that's a different story now all about what you like it or what you are going to use it that's how you should decide you could can you should move in HOA or no HOA community now talking about this some deeper aspect about the investment I'm just including in small portion in this I can be another video for you know talking about the investments but yes the HOA a lot of time does not allow the rentals not all the time okay some HOAs do allow and some HOAs who don't allow doesn't mean they're forever they don't allow not nothing like that mostly in single family house they have a rules of one year or two year ownership let me tell you the reason because they want to control the crowd they don't want the tenants to move in and you know they want the homeowners to move in you know so basically the investors uh, they are going to live there if they buy right so uh, mostly the tenants are and uh, you know they they, have, they do have uh, the, the HOS wants the uh, you know opportunity for the buyers like especially people who wants to live there not the investors because uh, the inventory wise also mostly if it is a tighter there then the investor beat on the properties and they take it so th those kind of things sometimes positive for the people who are moving in so that restriction helps you you will see also the price are less when there is a restriction like this uh, if there is no rich restriction you know for the rental then definitely the prices are more competitive because you are you are you you are competing with the investors also in the market now we are talking about the rental restriction again as I said there's a lot of things to discuss about the rental restriction so it's not enough for this video but yeah this just the general information about the rental restriction which I mentioned now talking about the HOA management so the HOA technically like uh, management fees I mean so a lot of times people wonder okay the HOA starts X number is that going to they keep increasing every year no it's not like a rent okay HOA does not increase every single year they make changes don't take me wrong but they will make changes with the approval of you as a homeowners they have association they have a board they have official people sitting from you who are homeowners in that community so if there is any changes happening it has to be approved for everybody it's like a board right you vote for it so it's not 
night they are going to change or oh, you have to pay for this but there are new communities we have a they already have a plan of increasing for example there's a new community they built up initially when they started Parkland Bay you know in Falkland area they started around small fees like $250 and they increased to seven seven hundred fifty when the, everything got built up because initially there was not much amenities to offer so builder or the association builder and associations are technically separate but they have to do uh, you know talking to each other initially they are still selling the neighborhood so you know those kind of arrangements you will see there but you know technically uh, it's not like every year they will be increasing now most important part for when there is a HOA is like gardening yeah this is a very different topic if you are moving from other states and not used to seeing gardening guys in florida that's what the main thing you will enjoy if you have a land uh, if you are moving to florida then definitely you know if you have big lots definitely uh, you know you're going to enjoy the gardening the weather um, you know the 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 land is such a way that you would love to have the fruit trees vegetables things like that so some new HOAs, they do not allow fruit trees just to avoid the bugs. <laughs> okay, that's something I don't like it personally. Uh, I have a lot of clients who bought in new communities and they found out later, oh my God, they cannot have a mango trees and that they hate it even I, I hate it so even you know you have a two million ha two two million dollar house you can't have your own mango trees in Florida that's a really sad story okay so the I have in my house, we, we are living in no HOA community, we have like 10 mango trees and custard apple and a lot of vegetables. My my father-in-law, he, he does a very good gardening, you know, the vegetables. So a lot of things you can enjoy, you know, outdoors. So that, the, you need to see those restrictions, okay? You can find out in advance. It's not a surprise. Only if you, can, you know, especially newer communities, new rules that surprise they can change those rules anytime there's not you know i don't think so they go through the board uh, for those kind of things but i mean to protect the community okay so if there's a complaints and things like that they may change but if there's already there then it's no issue you know they're already there but there are some rules in Florida communities, even in no HOAs, in a front, you you have to have a certain kinds of tree. You cannot have a fruit trees in a front. But in no HOA, it's not that much higher restriction because only city is controlling. If city complains, then only you have to remove those trees. But I've seen my you know clients in some communities, even communities, but if, if on a front of the house, they don't allow. So all those rules you need to follow. You have a little boss in a neighborhood, very controls. And one way is good. They will control everybody. They will, you don't have to complain about for your neighbor if they're doing, if you're leaving a trash out, you know, of course, in so the HOA is uh, extra control so that's a plus point so so think about guys if what you want to achieve what you are you going to use those amenities are you going to uh, do you want the security those kind of things are very important when you decide uh, the neighborhoods and the cities and ultimately the you know the which kind of uh, communities you want to go in thank you I hope this is helpful if you like our uh, it's helpful to you guys please make sure you hit the like button or and also uh, comment me below what you like about the florida communities uh, do you like hoa or do you don't like HOA? let me know i would love to know your thoughts thank you